What's up everybody and welcome back to another video right here on the Crypto Grind channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about an old favorite and that is XDC and why I think it is such a good long-term hold. If that's something that interests you, make sure you're watching all the way to the end of the video. Of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you know when another video goes live. Jumping straight in, we have spoken about XTC in quite a bit of detail previously. So if you would like to see that, go check out the video on my channel. Now we're going to be talking about why I think it is such a good long-term hold. If you do want to know a little bit about XTC and what it's all about, you can have a look at it here. But essentially, it is a hybrid blockchain that makes use of the base of public and private blockchain technology to implement its solution. Now, the reason why this is so good is that you can have a situation in healthcare, for example, where there might be certain details that you want to keep private, but you still want to have other information as part of that healthcare system that could be public, sort of, you know, what doctors are charging to see their patients or prices of certain materials and so on. But you can still keep the patient's information private. That's just one example. There's plenty of other examples out there why this solution is so good. So it is a hybrid blockchain, combines the transparency of public, but the speed and security of private networks. With the help of blockchain technology and state-of-the-art infrastructure, the project intends to provide streamlined financial services to users. Now, I know I did use healthcare as an example there. That's just one of the use cases for this, but they are focusing quite a bit in the financial services sector. They are ISO 222 compliant, so we think. So that's one big reason why I do think XDC is such a good long-term hold as the new financial system com comes into play. You will see XDC featuring more and more. Protocols are open source. Um, uses a delegated proof of stake consensus mechanism, which facilitates fast transactions, interoperability, and cybersecurity. The network can process 2,000 transactions per second, and thanks to interoperable smart contracts and Ethereum virtual machine compatibility, users can more easily scale their projects. Now, 2,000 transactions per second is not necessarily the quickest out there in the crypto space, but it is by no means the slowest as well, so it is solid from that perspective as well. Now, moving on to some price, in, the, pre in the, the previous sort of ups and downs that we've seen in the last couple of months, the price hasn't actually done that much. I do have a chair on overall market, uh, market cap, but if we have a look at the price the last seven days, you'll see that it actually hasn't really done much. You can see that it's topped out there 3.4 and it's bottomed over there at 0 0.931, so it's in a very, very tight range. And I think it's going to stay in that tight range for a very long time for quite a few reasons. I think it's one of those coins that is a little, seen as a little bit boring and for that reason not necessarily looked at by a lot of people. But when the bull market actually kicks off, I can see this project actually doing very, very well. Moving back to the market cap on the all-time high, you can see we are sort of a 5x down from where that market cap was. I do think we're going to go higher. How high, I don't know in the next bull run. Possibly to 3 billion. So we could be looking at a little bit higher, maybe just over a 6x from where we are now in terms of market cap, which is not too bad. Um, that's a really good takeaway. But I think in the long term, sort of 10, 15 years from now, you could be looking at a 10 to 15x. We've got to be realistic about the price. This isn't going to be a 100x project, but it is by no means a bad project. It is very, very solid. So it's a good long-term hold. It will make you profits, but you've got to re remember that we are not looking at a 100x project here, but it is still very good. Before we go on, if you haven't already, make sure you're checking out my Patreon. I think there is a level there for everybody. We have early videos. We have great Telegram communities. And of course, if you would like a little bit more and some one-on-one -on -one time with myself, there's a tier for that too. So go ahead, check it out. I do have a seven day free trial as well. So if you want to test it out and make sure that it's for you, go ahead, check it out, check the seven day trial. And also remember one of the highest tiers that I have is the gold plus tier. If you take that up for the next few people who do take up the offer, you will receive the benefits of the platinum tier as well. So that is, there's a bit of a benefit. So you receive a few extras for the first three months of your subscription. So go ahead, check it out. If it is for you, we would love to have you as part of the Patreon. If not, I do have a free Telegram. Link is also in the description. Join the community. We would love to have you. We are growing. 
everybody is super passionate about cryptos and they're talking about all their favorite projects all the time. Moving on to one, a couple of things of, from XDC that I think are pretty bullish in the long term. So what they have announced here recently within the last few days is that they have partnered with a company called Solidity Scan, powered by Cred Shields. And essentially what this company does is they perform checks on your smart contract. So they perform what's called vulnerability scans. And essentially they come out of the report to tell you that your smart contract is safe or it's not which I think is really good because if they are going to be working with financial institutions, they're going to want to know that these um, smart contracts that they develop are really solid and worth using. And this is exactly how you can do it. So looking at that, looking at the Solidity Scan, here's their website over here. They do explain a little bit about it, but essentially they scan your, your smart contract. They publish a report that tells you uh, findings, whether it's critical all the way down to informational. And then you can fix a smart contract before they actually go live onto the network itself, which is great because that means that there's less likelihood that there's going to be an exposure of a vulnerability from a cyber criminal. So from that perspective, working with financial institutions, it gives everybody that sort of like hope and that comfort that everything is going to be great. Also, what I really do like is that they have recently announced that they're partnering up with a venture VC called SBI, they are a branch of the SBI bank in Japan, and they're going to be expanding their footprint in Japan. Now we do know that the Asian markets are pretty bullish on crypto as a whole. So if we're gonna see adoption there of XDC in the Asian market, it won't be too long before it is seen in the rest of the world. So it's great, it's positive, and we did see a bit of price action from that. If we have a look at the charts, you can see that there was a bit of a pump over here. Um, if you have a look at the last seven days, you can see there was this rally over here, and that's the reason why. So that's great. That's positive news. And I do think that means that there's a lot to come from XDC in the future. Now, also, one thing to note about XDC is that it is going to be mainly used by financial institutions, meaning that yourself as a holder, you're not going to see too much utility. But when the financial institutions need these coins, they will be looking for people to buy them from. Yourself as an early adopter holding these coins when they were cheap will benefit when these companies come along looking to buy these coins off the exchanges at much higher prices. And that's exactly why I think this coin is solid. It's a really good hold. It is a long-term hold, but I do think that it is one that it should find your, its way into your portfolio. That's all I'm going to be talking about in this video. If you are bullish, if you're a holder of XDC, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the project, if you're really excited about the future for this. If not, let us know what else you're holding. Drop comments down below what you would like me to look at or anything like that. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.